Hello, welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope you're doing well and I hope your day is going fantastic. We're going to do a full body um, yoga sequence today. Hopefully just makes you feel fantastic by the time we're done. Make sure you've got some water handy. Um, if you have a chance, um, either now or at the end, um, hit that subscribe button would mean the world to me. Um, just helping to grow my channel and to spread the love and to get people healthier and in a better space mentally physically and emotionally all right you guys let's start the top of the mat with a big shoulder roll stand in tall let those shoulders just slide down and away oh my goodness I already feel that big shoulder roll once again and shoulders slide down and away inhale reach to the sky and as you exhale tap the fingertips arch it back just a little bit stretching through the belly Inhaling it up nice and tall, pull the hands through to heart center, bend those knees. Place your hands just above the knees, fingertips pointing inward, press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Standing cat and cow, exhale, hollowing the tummy and chest, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, gaze to the sky. And exhale, hollow. Mobility and flexibility through that spine, so important, guys. One more each direction. Ah, oh, feeling those legs. And coming back to a neutral spine. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, pull the hands to heart center. Let's step those feet just about the width of your mat. And we're going to bend those knees. Toes are slightly turned out. And we're going to place the forearms or the hands on those knees. And we're going to gently turn. Just one direction, a little press away with that knee. Nothing big, guys. And then come back to center, keeping that core strong. A little press away with the hand or the elbow. Come back to center, hollow your tummy and chest, tuck your chin. So either pressing those hands into the tops of the knees or the forearms. And gently bring it back to neutral. Pull the hands to heart center, we rise. And as you exhale, arch it back. Open those arms out to a nice wide V. Inhale, reach to the sky, pull the hands to heart center, and let's hinge it forward. We're going to come halfway over. As you come halfway, oh, core is strong, supporting that lower back, feeling that stretch through those hamstrings. If it feels right to you, extend those arms out to a T. Breathe. Gently release your hands and relax the weight of the upper body down. Oh, getting into that lower back, down the backs of the legs. A little shift of your weight forward into those toes. If you're like, wow, it's a little too soon for that, <laughs> just keep your weight where it is. Rock back to your heels, and let's turn our toes inward, creating a little bit of a pigeon-toed stance with your feet, and just relax the weight of the upper body down. Noticing that nice stretch through the outer ankles, and again, if ever you're like, wow, this is a little more than feels good to my body today, just honor that. You guys listen to your body, and a little shift your weight forward into those toes, and then back into your heels. Shifting your weight to your toes, let's close those heels and then close the toes once more. So their feet are about hip width apart. Bringing the hands to the elbows, we hold on and gently sway side to side. Uh, just creating a little arc right around those legs. Coming back to center, release the arms and let's roll it up one vertebra at a time. Oh, and again, a big shoulder roll at the top, and shoulders slide down and away. Crossing that right foot behind the left, reach that right arm to the sky, reach down with that left hand. Oh, beautiful stretch all the way down that right side. Inhale it back to center, pull the hands to heart center, crossing the left leg. Left arm extends to the sky, right arm reaches down, lean in and reach. Oh, just that great stretch to the ribs and the waist. And inhale, pull it back to center. Step that left foot beside the right to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Hold your plank. 
Breathe. We can be on our toes or our knees. Find that breath. You can be on your hands or your forearms. And we're going to gently rock our hips side to side. Keeping that core strong. Just a little rotation. Nothing crazy. Always being mindful of that back. Just firing up those core muscles. Coming back to center. Lift your hips to down dog. Adjust your feet however you need to. Feet are hip width apart. Hands shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers wide and press through the palms of the hands. Guide those weight, the weight back towards those feet. Let's inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders towards your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. We're going to hollow the tummy and chest rolling forward to a high plank position. And roll it back, tuck your chin, hollow your chest, hollow your tummy, lift those sit bones high on the balls of the feet, and let your heels gently sink. Sway those hips side to side. Mm, just checking in. Always mindful of that breath. Always listening to your body, guys. Knowing the difference between a challenge and a place where maybe your body shouldn't be today recognizing the difference between a good stretch and a hurt not so good. Coming back to center, shift your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky, exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Standing tall, arms come overhead to our crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And then exhale, sink, bringing that left hand to the outside of the right knee, right arm circles back. Take your gaze out over that right shoulder, using that left hand to just gently pull you around for a deeper rotation. Gently place that right hand to the back thigh. Breathe. A little tuck of your chin down towards that right collarbone, stretching through the neck, challenging your balance. Extending right arm out, circling it back up. Extending left arm to the sky, circle the arms forward, back of the hands pull towards the back of the mat, gaze to the sky, open your chest, rotate palms to the sky, big circle all the way up, and flow forward, hands on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back, extend right leg to the sky, add a flex of that right foot and a bend of the right knee, draw your heel towards your bottom. Nice stretch through the front of that right leg, down the back of that left leg. Breathe. Extending right leg to the sky, slowly releasing your foot down to down dog, holding your down dog, or inhale it to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We bend that right knee, left heel presses towards the mat. Switch sides, left knee bends, right heel down. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders towards your thighs, reach your sit bones high. And exhale, let your heels sink. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back knee down if you like. Circle the arms up and overhead to our crescent lunge. Nice and tall through that spine. Core is strong. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Crossing that right hand to the outside of the left knee. Rotate your body and reach through those left fingertips. Staying tall through the crown of the head, drawing those shoulders down and away. Extend through those left fingertips. Now slowly lower that left hand down, placing the palm of your hand just against the back of that right thigh and a little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. Breathe. Feeling how all the different muscles engage to steady, to stay strong. Extending left arm straight back. Circle it back up and over. Extending right arm to the sky, facing front, circle the hands forward, back of the hands pull towards the back of the mat as you open the chest, gaze to the sky, open those palms, big circle of those arms up and over, 
and flow forward, hands on either side of your foot, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend, left leg to the sky, add a flex of that left foot and a bend of that left knee, heel towards your bottom. Mm, big deep breaths, letting go of tension and tightness, feeling all the different feels throughout your body, extending left leg to the sky, slowly releasing it down, holding your down dog, or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels sink. Breathe. At the end of your exhale, take the gaze between your hands. Walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. Interlace your fingers, turn your palms to the sky, and as you exhale, arch it back a little or a lot. Inhaling up nice and tall, pull the hands to heart center. Let's turn and open up those feet nice and wide, turning those toes out to about a 45 degree angle, extending the arms out to a T. Inhale, reach to the sky, sink into those legs, pull the hands to heart center to goddess pose. Shoulders are soft. Find that breath. Pelvis is tucked through under just a bit. Knees are rolled back. Breathe. Let's just gently slide side to side. Doesn't matter which way you start. Just slide. Doing your best to stay level so we're not popping up in the center. And we're just going side to side. Movement and mobility through those hips. Strengthening those legs. Strong through that core. Let's bring it back to center. And we're going to shift our weight to the right, extending that left leg, and lift that right heel. Breathe. Can you sink any lower? Ooh, challenge. And release that right heel, slide it back through center, and then over to the left, extending that right leg, lifting that left heel. Can you sink any lower? Awesome, you guys. Breathe. Release your heel, slide it back through center, extend those arms out to a T, rotate your palms, reach to the sky, and open those arms out to a T. Core strong, let's hinge it over. Releasing that right hand down, rotate your body and extend, left arm to the sky, reach it up. How high can you reach? Now circle that left arm around behind you. Can you find that right thigh? If you can't quite find it, just tuck your arm as tightly against your back as you can. Turn and take your gaze up over that left shoulder. Now we can stay here with that right hand supporting us. Or if you like, core is strong. We take that right hand and reach it over to that left ankle. Lowering down as much as feels good to you. You can rest on that right elbow. Or you can keep it off. We release that right hand underneath us once again, supporting, extending left arm to the sky, and slowly release it down. Left hand takes the place to the right, and we rotate, reaching right arm to the sky. Oh, you guys, this should feel so good. Challenging, absolutely yes, but super good. Circling that right arm around behind, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that left thigh, hold on to it and breathe. Always strong through that core, guys. Stability, strength, balance, all starts in the core. Now we can keep that left hand where it is, supporting, or if you like, reach that left hand across to that right ankle and lower it down as much as feels good to you. Again, that left elbow can come to rest or you can stay off. Just using that left hand to brace and to help pull to rotate even deeper. Listen to your body. Be kind. Core is strong. We release that left hand once again, extending to support, 
and extend right arm to the sky. Slowly release your hands down. Let's heel toe those feet in once. Toes are still turned out and we gently release the weight of the upper body down. And breathe. A little shift of your weight forward and back and forward and back and center. Ever so gently rolling it up. If you need to bend those knees, bend those knees. All the way back up nice and tall with a big shoulder roll at the top. And shoulders slide down and away. Let's heel toe those feet out once again and extend those arms out to a T. We bend that right knee, turning those left toes. I'm sorry, the right toes towards the front, left toes turn to about a 45 degree angle, extending the arms out. Pelvis is open, chest is open, arms are extended out long to our warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit, and then exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten. Open hips, chest, and shoulders to the side. Reach it out over those right toes when you can't reach anymore. Right arm down. Left arm high, triangle, lengthening and extending, reaching out of the shoulder up to the tips of your fingers, rotating that left palm towards the front, reach it up and over, turn your gaze down towards that right big toe, a little tuck of your chin towards your right collarbone, and breathe. Inhale, lifting that left arm back to the sky, slowly releasing that left hand down, placing your hand along the inside of your foot. Adjust your feet if you need to. Rotate your body and reach that right arm to the sky. High as you can reach. Find that breath. Revolve triangle. Now our body position is going to remain the same, and we're just going to bend that right knee. Back heel is going to come off the mat. Breathe, and a rotating runner's lunge. Breathe, core is strong. We're gonna give it a little push off with that left hand and rise. Breathe. Inhale, turn back to face front, arms come overhead. Straightening that front leg a little, and then exhale, sink. Breathe. Circle the arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend. Oh, right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Inhaling to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Optional push up if you like. To down dog. Oh, let your heels sink. Let that head be heavy. Checking in. How you doing? Hopefully feeling fantastic. Some days, yeah. Always feels better than others. I hope it's one of those days where it just feels exceptional. End of your exhale, take the gaze between your hands. Walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. And as you exhale once again, open it up. Nice and wide. Breathe. Core is strong. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, cross that right hand over. Touch those left toes or your shin. And then bring it back to center. Core is strong. You can do this with bent knees or straight legs. Left hand to the right sh uh, shin or toes. And back to center. We're going to do that one more time each way. Reach. And back to center, core strong, supporting that back. Reach. And back to center. Bring the hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Roll those shoulders back. Take your gaze to the sky. Reach your knuckles towards the ground. Mm, opening up that chest. Inhaling it up nice and tall. And let's hinge it forward. If you need to heel toe those feet in, make it happen, my friends. 
breathe. If you're not even sure, and it happens when you get here, release your hands, heel toe those feet in, and then bring your arms back around behind. That happens sometimes, we're not even sure. But yes, when we get there, we need to adjust. You are never stuck in a pose. I promise, promise, bringing the palms to touch the best you can. If you need to grab a strap, a dog leash, a tie, anything. If those shoulders are just a little tighter today and interlacing those fingers isn't an option. If it feels right to you, roll those shoulders up and back and lift your hands towards the sky. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And breathe. Slowly bringing the hands to the small of the back. Gently releasing those arms. We're going to inhale it halfway up, supporting with those hands. Widen that stance if you narrowed it. And we're going to take a big breath in. And as you exhale, bend that left knee. Lower down. Bottom about knee height. And then rise. So we're just going to transition from side to side. As you exhale, bending that right knee. Bottom comes down to about knee height. And we rise. One more time to the left. This time hold to the left. Reach your right hand. Can you touch the top of your shin or your foot? Breathe. If you like, and I mean if you like, be very mindful. Extend left arm out to a T. Take your gaze towards that right big toe. Release your left hand. Release your right. Come back to center and bend that right knee. Lower down as low as feels good to you and keep that support if you like. Feels good to you and you're up for the challenge. Reach that left hand to the top of the shin or top of the foot. Core is strong. Legs are engaged. Extend. Right arm out to a T. Breathe. Beautiful. Release that right hand. Release the left and extend those legs. Release it down. Let's roll onto those heels and turn the toes inward. Little pigeon toed stance with those feet. Great stretch through the outer ankle. Rocking back to those heels, spin your toes back out. Arms are heavy and we slowly roll it up. And again, you can bend those knees or keep those legs long. As you reach the top, roll those shoulders up and back. Extending the arms out to a T, we turn those left toes towards the top of the mat. Right heel slides back, toes at a 45 degree angle, and bend that left knee. Sink low, adjust your feet however you need to. Find your breath. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Open hips, chest, and shoulders to the side. Feet stay just as they are and reach out over those left toes when you can't reach anymore. Left arm down, right arm high. Oh, you feel that stretch through the waist, through the hip, out of the shoulder, up to the tips of the fingers. Yes. So nice. Breathe. Finding that breath and slowing it down. Rotating that right palm towards the front. Reach it up and over. Turn your gaze down towards that left big toe with a little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. Deepening that stretch through the waist into that hip. Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky, and then as you exhale, slowly release that left hand or that right hand down. Breathe. Adjust your feet if you need to. Rotate and extend. Left arm to the sky. Reach it up. High as you can reach. Breathe. Slow, steady breaths. Now we're going to keep that body position the same and bend the knee. Back heel comes off the mat. Find your breath. And let's press it up, keeping that rotation all the way up to our revolved crescent. Breathe. We turn back to face front. Exhale, flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend. Oh, left leg to the sky. 
and gently release it down to down dog. We inhale it to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Sit it back to child's pose. Find your breath. Slow it down. Checking in with those hip flexors, the lower back, the glutes, the shoulders. And let's inhale it up to a modified high plank. Breathe. Slowly lower. Press it through up dog. Place your knees to the mat and walk your hands back to a tabletop position. And we're going to come down onto our forearms and we're going to cross, stacking one arm in front of the other, palms to the mat. We're going to take a big breath in, and as you exhale, extend that right arm. Just kind of rolling onto that left forearm, rotating the torso, just noticing how you feel through those obliques and through the shoulders. Bring it back down and extend left arm. little rotation. Feel how that feels. And gently bring it back down. Now we're going to press through both palms and extend those arms. And bring it back down. Now cross that opposite arm in front. Now you might need to draw those knees in or for a little more intensity, you're more in a modified plank. Breathe. And we extend left arm and bring it back down. Extending right arm, a little roll. So depending if you're in tabletop or in your modified plank and back down. Now we lift both, press through the palms and bring it back down. Bringing one hand in front and the other, press it back to child's pose. Breathe. Now that's just a progression. You can also do the next step in that regular plank position. It's fun, but it is absolutely challenging. So your option here is to hang in child's pose, grab a drink of water, or if you like, Let's inhale it back up, and we're going to come to that plank position, coming down onto the forearms. So we're going to stack the hands or the arms one in front of the other. We're going to extend left arm and bring it down. Extend right arm and bring it down. Now pressing through the palms of the hands, we press it up. This is very challenging, and then bring it back down. Switch other arm in front. Core is strong. Extend left arm and bring it down. Extend right arm and bring it down. Core is strong. You can bring those knees down and press and bring it down. Step one knee in and then the other and sit it back. Extending those arms. Nice work. If you didn't quite get there today, no worries, you guys. It is really challenging. It was kind of a struggle bus for me as well. <laughs> it's always fun to do something different and challenging. And let's walk those hands up. Come over and let's cross those legs. Find your breath. How you doing? Hopefully fantastic. Let's bring those hands down by your side. Sit up nice and tall. As you exhale, bring the chin down towards your chest. Just slowing it down. That was an intense one, that last piece. Rolling the head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder, and a gentle press of that left palm down. Slow your breath. Gently roll it back to center. And we take it to the left. Left ear over the left shoulder, and a gentle press of that right palm down towards the earth. Just breathe. And the chin comes back down towards the chest, bringing the hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, and just gently pull. Let those elbows be heavy. 
Inhale, head up nice and tall, elbows are wide. And as you exhale, rotate to the right, keeping those elbows wide, keeping that length through the crown of the head. We roll it back to center. And then we rotate to the left, opening up those elbows. Oh, feels so good. And back to center. Release your hands. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over. And we're just going to sway side to side. Inhaling it up. And exhale it over. Inhale, both arms up one more time each side. Exhale it up and over. One more. Inhale, reach. And exhale up and over. Inhale it up nice and tall. Exhale, rotate to the right. Little tap of the fingertips. Inhale back to center. And exhale open to the left. Little tap of the fingertips. And inhale it back to center. Exhale, pull those hands through heart center. Placing the back of the hands to the tops of the knees. Close your eyes. Open the palms to the sky. If it feels right to you, gently touch your index finger to your thumb. Relax your jaw. Feel the length in your spine as you sit tall. Aware of your breath, aware of that energy flowing through you. We take just a few moments to find stillness, to remain connected to our breath, and to thank the mind and the body for taking us on this journey today. Those amazing mindful movements, what did we learn about ourselves today? What were we able to let go of? Hopefully all or any negativity that's within you or around you is just gone. You feel healthy, light, happy, ready for the day. Or perhaps ready for a restful night's sleep if you're at the end of your day. Either way, my friends, I want to thank you for including me in your day. I appreciate you. Let your breath just flow. Let your mind be free and clear. Allow the mind and body to assimilate all of those wonderful gifts, the benefits from each of the asanas that we have performed today. Let's gently bring our hands to heart center. A gentle tuck of the chin towards the chest. And either quietly or silently, we say thank you. We send positive energy that we have in excess out into the universe. If you have someone in particular that needs a little extra love today, send it to them. Always keeping enough positive energy and love within yourself to keep your picture full so that you can help fill others. Let's gently lift the gaze. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Take care of yourselves, my friends. I hope that this was amazing. I hope you loved it, and I hope you come back time and time again. Until the next time, I always look forward to it. Light and love to you, to those whom you love. Be well and take care. Namaste.